Hey guys, welcome back to FTV Skies episode 9. Guys, it's been a while. It's only been a week and a day, 8 days, but it feels like a month for me. I missed you. Anyways guys, how are you doing today guys? I hope you're doing fine. I hope you're feeling amazing, fantastic. Let's start the episode guys. Alright guys, to progress further, we need latex. I've set up a small latex setup here with some ME formation planes with... Uh, priority so every time some acacia log is generated from our phytogenic insulator if it finds a blank spot it will go here otherwise it will go into our storage and that's going to complete this thing 100 buckets of latex and the next quest requires us to get some insightful crystals this should be a joke actually because i've bottled up some experience i just got some experience from our farm into a bottler and placed some bottles so that should be eight stacks of insightful crystal let's make that one two oh no wait what we need 512 well let's make a pattern then ah, this one is an okay one all right we need 508 i guess let's see how fast is that holy poop can we submit that from the system all right well we're gonna do this then yeah like a soul and i want to export insightful crystals but first i want to set that very nice and then yeah this should do it that is absolutely fantastic nice that's done all right next one is uh, pink slime ingots we need some pink slime therefore we need a mob slaughter factory which is actually easily made so we're going with we're going with the range 5 upgrade i believe very nice then we need one of those and one of those where's the glass paint very nice let's see what range is that giving us yeah that's actually perfect that's actually perfect it doesn't kill our ship all right then let's turn this thing off right now this will produce liquid meat and pink slime i want this the liquid meats and pink slime to go into our applied energistic system let's put four acceleration cards and an import bus and then let's drag a cable into our system now do we see it here perfection we got eight nine buckets almost and that is because i've made a 256k emi fluid storage cell maybe you should make a mega one we can let's start that that's amazing how long will it take one minute that's okay all right guys next step we'll need a dissolution chamber pattern provider very nice let's get rid of that and then i want an emmy pattern provider here then a dissolution chamber here can i place this here yeah that's perfect and then of course it needs some power so we'll have to remove that i'm sorry right it's gucci then i want one export bus right here set on pink slime like so please very nice and let's put some upgrades oh of course i need to configure the sides so if this, this is the front fluid inputs left all hello why is it not pulling device missing channel wait what wait what why is it missing a channel one three four yeah that should be fine device online device online ah device missing channel why yeah, so we got four five twenty nine but we're fine right or not ah <gasps> there's two no we're not fine all right so we need this we need this how many is that yeah it does have enough channels let's get a dense cable and drag it all the way here disconnect that and let's go like a so perfect i think that works now this should have a yep it is now online and it does have pink slime which is amazing fantastic now the items will be provided the input of the items will be provided from the bottom and then the output will be exported from this side import and some cables like a so 
Very nice. Now let's get some patterns. Let's get some patterns. What can we make using pink slime? Pink slime, dissolution chamber, pink slime ingot, advanced machine frame. That is amazing. We don't need that. We don't need that. Pink slime. We don't need all that. So we just need three recipes. Let's do these. Actually, yeah, let's do it like that. Like we always do without the liquid. Because the liquid, we just hope that we always have enough. And then let's go to here. Place this here. And also, let's get a fluid trash can. Like a so. This will go on top. Well, let's go like a so. And like a so. And this, white list, water. Perfection. Perfection. So, and then fluid output. Direction top. Push. Push, yeah. And then the output. Direction right. Push. That's amazing. Now let's see. Slime ingot. Why is it doing this? Alright, let's disable that. Alright. I think the import bus was uh, pulling out all the items. And let's disable all these. Right. Let's test this out. 91 buckets. How many buckets does one of these pink slime ingots need? It needs one bucket. So we need 128 buckets. Let's do 90 ingots for now. Just to test it out. Alright. So it's quite slow. Well, let's let's upgrade it. All right, I've got the add-ons ready. Let's see processing, efficiency, and then speed. Can we go with two? We can't. Hmm. All right. Let's see. How about processing? Okay. Efficiency? No. Just processing. Okay. Well, I guess that's uh, the max upgrade. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Well, that's gonna take some time. Let's do that. Let's set that to output. How many do we need? 38. I believe we can do that. Yeah, we can definitely do that. And once the ingot is ready, it just goes in here. The task will be completed eventually. Very nice. Now guys, what I've done off camera between the cuts, I've just dragged two dead cables. One going to one turbine and one going to the second turbine. Now I know there's like this thing called a tunnel, right? A P2P tunnel, which can be used so you don't use the dense cables and you just drag a network with uh, just Fluix cables. But yeah, that's okay. Jesus, there's a lot of bats. But now we can set up some stuff inside the turbines. And the first thing I want to set up is actually a slimy mycelial generator. Oh no, we need a milk bucket. Where do we get that? <laughs> We need a cow, guys. We need to catch a cow. How do we do that? It's... We've got this here. Oh, is that milk? No, that's ladder. All right, let's see if we can catch a cow. We've done this before. We can do it now as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, well, what do we do next? We'll, we'll go this way. Let's collect... Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want to die. Uh, let's exit this way. Yep, that works. Let's try this again. I want to stay here and hopefully catch a cow. Oh, I did. I did. Very nice. Let's escape this way. Amazing. Now let's get a bucket and let's uh, keep the cow here, I guess. That's the perfect spot for a cow. We got some milk. Now that we have some milk, I just need an advanced machine frame. All right, let's see if we can get one. All right, we need a simple machine frame. How do we get a simple machine frame? We need the latex and this thing, the, another dissolution chamber. All right, let's see how our latex is doing. This is for a quest. We're halfway there. All right, but we do have some latex here. I will automate this dissolution chamber as well later. The latex one. But let's see. Yeah, that's easy. Let me make that. I think I've covered everything. And if we go just like a so, perfection. Speed this up and we get a simple machine frame now. We should be able to craft it. That is amazing. And it should go in here. Oh my god, it's done. That is fantastic. Fantastic, amazing. And is the... Yeah, the pink slime is done. Alright, we should be able to make five slime blocks easily. Amazing. Slimy mycelial generator. Now this thing needs two. Two things. Where do we place it? um let's place it hold on a sec um yeah that is not the center but uh i have no idea how this thing gonna look so let's just place this here it needs milk, he needs some milk. well we can go with the cow in a jar 
Like so. Pick up the cow. Place the milk jar. Place the cow. Then we'll need an anvil. Mm, this should work. Wait. What happened to the cow? Alright guys, well, it did work the second time. I'm not sure what happened the first time. Let's do that once again. Nice. Another one. And I think I'm going to get five. Alright guys, so I made ten. And then we've got them going into a basic fluid tank and going back into our light energistic system. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much milk we have. We've got 13 buckets. I guess that's not going to be enough. That's okay. Let's see. Milk input slime in. Let's make an export bus. We'll also need three of those and a capacity card. Export bus. Blue X cable, capacity card, speed upgrade, and then we'll need milk, not milk, milk, and slime bolts. Here it is. That is perfection. It is generating some FE already. Plus 200 FE. That's not too much. Right, guys, actually, I would like to make more of those. Actually, guys, I decided to move the mycelial generators. We have this pretty nice looking hole right here. I'm guessing this is the bridge room of the ship where the captain guides the ship. We'll see. But if you remember, we wanted to set up the Emmy controller here. But because we didn't and we've got a messy room here, I think I'm going to use that for the uh, mycelial generators. And there's uh, 16 of them plus one to go in the center and this is amazing because we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen which is amazing and we can go and start like a so the slimy generator goes here oh my god guys we've got 200 latex which is amazing one million power powers one million powers Right, very nice, we got two of these done, and we can remove the task, but where do we store latex now? Right, in our system, in our system, we'll go like a so. This goes here, blue tank, basic one is fine. Uh, right here, and an import bus, amazing, let's get one acceleration card, I don't think we're gonna produce that much latex. Perfection. And now this goes into the network. We've got four fluids. We're not even close to getting to max capacity. Plus, we got a 1 million mega fluid storage cell, which is <laughs> absolutely fantastic. All right, let me set up another dissolution chamber, which is going to be this one, the, the latex one. All right, and we're going to use a mega pattern provider, which supports processing patterns only, but it provides much, much more. I think double? Yeah, double. Which is fantastic. Let's go like a so. Dissolution chamber. Then we'll need an export bus and an import bus. Now the export bus to pull from left side. And this is going to be latex. Right, this should pull in latex. Yes, perfection. Then this guy needs some power as well. We'll need to set the input from the bottom like a so. And the output is to the right. Then an ME import bus. Right, patterns. We have all we need for right now is the add-on speed tire 2, processing tire 2, efficiency tire 2, and the simple machine frame. And now this, the crafting pattern, will go to an open crafter right here. Amazing. Efficiency, very nice. Second efficiency. Oh no, he doesn't accept efficiency. What does he... Right, he accepts this one. Processing one. Let's make another processing one. Very nice, right. So, efficiency, speed, and two processing. All right, I think this setup works. We've got some ultimate universal cables. And yep, so far it's 200 FE. But let's make the pink generator. Simple machine frame. We should be able to make that. Very nice. And then the pink mycelial generator. Let's place that here. Oops, not here. Not here. Right here. Now... We just need something pink. And that is going to be pink slime. Pink slime. Like a so. How much is that? That's not too many. That's like 135 FE more. All right, let's see if our system is actually making pink slime. So that's like three seconds to make one. Whereas this guy needs four seconds to process. 
Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's keeping up because I have this thing set, this thing right here to 15. So it holds 15 and then it lets them go. And then, yeah, they go over here. Right, next one. This one seems easy. Ender Mycelial Generator. Let's do that. This goes here. And I want the Eye of Ender. Right, and I need a pattern for the Eye of Ender. Amazing, fantastic. And then I need to set this guy to make 30 Eyes of Ender, the stack of 30. Submit changes, toggle request. Now, how much is that? Not too much, not too much. Right, right, fairness, fairness, that's easy. Let's place it here. Then we need, we need some items to burn. How about sticks? Do we have enough sticks? Are we getting any sticks from anywhere? Like, where do we get sticks from? The farm that is not working right now? <laughs> right, let's see. At 4k sticks. So let's burn sticks, guys. Why not? Let's go with sticks. 500 FE. Noise. All right, guys. The next thing I did is actually set up the passive mob farms again. So we've got this one for liquid meat and slime. The hostile mobs one. And then the passive mobs drop loot, which is mostly chicken, pork chop, beef, and mutton. And this we're going to use in the culinary mycelial generator, which we should be able to craft. Perfection. And let's place that. Yeah, this is the next spot. All right, let's go like a so. Capacity card. Not this. Does it burn animal fat? I don't think it does. What is this? Yeah, it's... Useless, useless guys, useless. How much power is that? 500 FE. That's not too much. That's not too much. The next thing I want to get is a frosty one. Frosty mycelial generator. Now this guy needs some ice and snowballs. And I think this is the best way to go. Entropy manipulator. Now, how, what do we do now? All right, let's get a bucket of water. Water bucket. Place some water. Right click. Oh, what the hell? What the hell happened? I guess this is not what I wanted. Um, let's test this once more. Shift right click. Ooh, that's ice. How do I get the ice now? Dang. Finally, guys. Finally. First of all, snowballs, guys. Shift right click with an entropy manipulator on flowing water. And you get snowballs, which is amazing. Who doesn't like snowballs? And then, if we go shift right click and mine that, we should get ice, which is fantastic. Now, let's get five ice. Hmm, five should be fine. Nope, it's not. I wanted the blast chiller. It needs packed ice, which needs, yeah, nine ice. Unless we do bulk washing. Let's actually try this out. We place ice here. This should be converted into pack ties. Let's see. Oh yeah, that is amazing. Right, but if we get four more eyes and make it into pack ties, we can get one blue eyes. And with that, we can get a pedestal with the silk touch tool. Place the blue eyes on the bottom and nothing. Huh. All right, so we need to pump water into the thingy. Let's actually freeze that. Oh my god, 64 packed eyes. <laughs> nice. So we now can make frosty mycelial generator as we have the snowballs and ice. Place it in its spot. And then we just need some ice going into it. Blue ice. There you go. What the hell was that? I need a plug. This item pipe like a soul. Going into a crafter. This is very nice. Right, do I have enough space? Hopefully I do. Thank God I have enough. Blue ice. I'm sorry about the noise, guys. Goes here. Right, pedestal here. Silk touch tool. Material generator. And then we just need a sink. Sink. Fluid pipe. Connect the fluid pipe here. Sink. Set this to output. Provide it with more power. Like, transferring power. And we should get packed ice. Right. And then this, the packed ice. Just go like a so. Oh my god, why is it laggy? Why is it laggy? Speed mode fast, apply, and it needs energy. Of course, let's make a point. Hello, please. 
Very nice. Search. Right, and the blue eyes. We just need to import back into the system. Like I so. Filter that. Amazing, fantastic. Let's go forward. Doesn't matter really. And we just go like a so. We've got blue eyes. That is absolutely fantastic. The blue eyes will then head into our roasty mycelial generator and generate quite a lot of power actually. Or maybe not. Anyways, roasty mycelial generator is done. Amazing, fantastic. Next one magma mycelial generator. Easily made. Let's place it right here. Um, and we need to export lava. Oh, and maybe actually and redstone. Yeah. Mush. Right. We just need lava. Now, how do we get lava? Let's use this guy, the mechanical squeezer. Got 4.2k obsidian. I don't think we will ever need more. But I might be wrong, guys. I don't know. Let's go like a so. Mechanical squeezer. Place powder. Ooh. That is, uh, yeah, he will think we can make a signal or something. Let me level emitter. This is one, the one I need. Level emitter. Lava. I go here. When it's uh, 100 buckets, it will emit when levels are above. Perfect. When we have 100 buckets of lava, this will emit a redstone signal. And we'll stop the export bus, I think. Redstone card. We need a redstone card. Redstone card. Always active. Active without signal. Perfect. Perfect. Now. And I guess we need some more acceleration cards here. Hmm. Right. This I need to set to lava. Perfection. This guy is working. Yeah. How much is that? 659. Not much, guys. Alright, next one. A rocket mycelial generator. Now, I can't... It doesn't tell me what it needs. I'm just guessing it needs rockets. Huh. Huh. Well, let's try that. Rocket. Alright, let's see. Is that what it takes? Just rockets. No. It's kind of weird. So, what do you need? I don't get it. It's not even in the... Yeah, it's not in the the generators. Anyways, we'll leave this here. Next one. Death. I see. 10 seconds. Damn, that's gonna go by quite fast. Right, we should be able to make it. Very nice. Capacity card. Acceleration. And then rotten flesh. And bones. Oh my god. Yeah, we better stay away from that. All right, not right. All right, guys, I can't figure out how to get Never World blocks and mushrooms. So let's go to the Never Sky Village. All right, let's get this for the quest. Amazing. Let's go then. Never. Now this automatically transforms. Let's see. Do you guys see anything? All right. Hey guys, I'm sorry, but that's it for today's episode. It's getting quite long and I believe that's all we have time for today. So I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope to see you in the next one. In the meantime, if you did like the episode, please consider leaving a like and yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.